Hello, welcome back. I'm Satman Dave. Today, we're going to be explaining Ole Gunnar Solskjaer's Manchester United. Make sure, of course, to like the video, subscribe if you're new, turn those notification bells on. Let's get this party started. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer has become the first Manchester United manager to win his first six games in charge. He's got the team playing with pace, with flair that you'd expect from a Manchester United side. The Champions League winner has United returning to traditions of old. Lightning counter-attacks, quick one-touch play and an emphasis on blooding young players. He said, it's a family and you see the winning instinct and it's about giving youngsters the chance. And he's been true to his word, handing out 1,507 minutes to first team academy graduates, 43 minutes between Angel Gomez and a debut to Tahith Chong, as well as 158 minutes to 19 year old Diogo Delo in his six games. It's fantastic to see and I expect more minutes and debuts from the academy as the season continues. But on to the tactics, Solskjaer has lined United up in a 4-2-3-1 and has experimented with a 4-3-3 and a 4-4-2 diamond, but more on that later on. Regardless of formation, Solskjaer's principles remain the same. But we'll use the 4-2-3-1 as the base as it's been Solskjaer's most used system. In possession, United have two main variants of building up, both featuring a back three. Firstly, Ander Herrera tends to drop in between the centre-backs or beside them, while Matic holds his position at eight. The full-backs push on, the shape transitions to a lopsided 4-2-3-1, with Shaw often sitting a little bit deeper than Ashley Young as the team progresses into the opposition's half, the attacking midfield has become narrow and the full-backs provide the width in the final third. Or alternatively, Luke Shaw does drop back and becomes part of that back three, as both Herrera and Matic sit as eights. Ashley Young pushes on to create a band of four behind the striker, and this 3-2-4-1 shape encourages fluid movement between Lingard, Pogba, Herrera, Martial, and of course Marcus Rashford. Regardless of the shape, the left attacking midfielder will always hold his width, whilst on the right usually sits in the inside right channel, relying on the full back, usually Ashley Young, to provide the width. In attack, there have been a number of key players in Solskjaer's side, but none more important than Paul Pogba and Marcus Rashford, and this is shown in United's style of play. In five Premier League appearances under Solskjaer, Pogba has scored four goals, grabbed four assists, had 22 shots on goal, created 13 chances, and of course completed 11 dribbles, which is a massive change to his numbers under Mourinho. United looked to build from the back, recycling the ball through defence, before firing the ball into Paul Pogba from Luke Shaw. Pogba has received the ball from Shaw 110 times in the Premier League under Solskjaer, more than he's received from any other player. Once Pogba is on the ball, United come alive. The Frenchman looks to either drive at the defence with the ball, find opportunities to get a shot away or move the ball quickly to a teammate. But mainly he looks to hit balls into the channel so that Manchester United can utilise the pace of Marcus Rashford, Jesse Lingard and of course Anthony Martial. 50% of Pogba's through balls in the Premier League this season have come under Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. And the quicker tempo in Solskjaer's game is bringing the best out of the Frenchman. Under Solskjaer, United moved the ball much quicker, looking to get those balls into the channels before getting the ball into the box. This is highlighted perfectly by Pogba's opening goal against Bournemouth. United recycled the ball through defence and midfield before Bay played it to Young at right back. Young took one touch and hit the ball into the channel for Marcus Rashford. Rashford then absolutely destroyed Nathan Ake, then Diego Rico with a flip flap and fired the ball across for Paul Pogba to slide in and finish. Not only is Pogba controlling the tempo of games for Manchester United, but he's getting into the box and adding goals to his game. So massive improvement than under the previous manager. But if Pogba is United's all action midfielder, then Rashford is the cutting edge, both in attack and defense. Rashford leads the press from the front, never giving the opposition back line a rest. But his biggest improvement from his days under Mourinho has been his finishing. Solskjaer has worked heavily on the training ground with Rashford, and the results are already beginning to show. All four of his goals under Solskjaer have been different. A 30-yard free kick against Cardiff, a poacher's effort against Bournemouth, a calm finish against Newcastle, and a lightning breakaway against Spurs. Under Oli in the Premier League, in five appearances, Rashford scored four goals and grabbed an assist. Versus his spell under Mourinho this season, 14 appearances, three goals, and five assists. But the real difference is that Solskjaer has given Rashford the confidence to express himself, as seen by the stats. He is shooting three times more per game and dribbling twice as much under Oli. 
which has led to his improved numbers in front of goal, scoring once every 104 minutes in the Premier League under the Norwegian tactician, compared to a goal on average every 284 minutes under Mourinho. The reason Rashford suits Ollie's United so well is his movement into the channels, which allows for fast direct attacks, as seen by his assist for Pogba's goal against Bournemouth. But if the moves do break down, Rashford can set up the counter press in terms of pressing from the front when the ball has been pumped forward. However, if balls aren't put into the channels quickly, then the band of three behind the striker interchange positions. They also play a lot of short one and two touch passes to pull their opponents out of shape. Again, United were successful with that approach against Cardiff. Martial moving into the number 10 position, dropping deep to receive the ball. He then carried it into the final third, passed to Pogba, Pogba to Lingard, Lingard to Martial, goal. Two one-touch passes carved Cardiff apart and United scored from absolutely nothing. In defence, United are really aggressive and their 4-2-3-1 simply becomes more compact. When they lose the ball, the defence squeezes into the centre circle and the forwards press for them the front in a man-orientated system. They are aggressive in the press and had great success pressing teams out of the back, either from goal kicks or free kicks or even from open play. They have forced their opponents out wide, then pressed them aggressively from in to out, using the touchline to box their opponents in. If they've been unable to win the ball back quickly, they drop into a narrow 4-3-3 that leaves the forwards ready to counter and makes the most out of those balls into the channels. The threat Manchester United carry with Paul Pogba, Anthony Martial, Jesse Lingard and Marcus Rashford on the break is enough to worry even the best defences in world football. And Solskjaer is tactically intelligent enough to make the most out of this. Against Spurs, he lined United up in a 4-4-2 diamond. A midfield of Matic, Herrera and Pogba sat behind Lingard at the tip, who played off Anthony Martial and Marcus Rashford who were acting as split strikers. Rashford and Martial started wide, making dangerous runs inside, whilst Lingard operated like a false nine, pushing to press the centre-halves before dropping onto defensive midfield to help out whilst shadowing Spurs' playmaker at the base of midfield, Harry Winks. When United didn't have the ball, Solskjaer gambled and frequently left Rashford, Martial and Lingard in offensive positions, so that when Spurs lost the ball, United could counter quickly and directly. United could have been 3-0 up at half-time, instead they were only 1-0 up but the goal came from the quickest of counter-attacks. United had dropped back into a lopsided 4-4-2 shape, but a sloppy inside pass from Kieran Trippier was intercepted by Jesse Lingard. Lingard played the ball to Pogba. Pogba got the ball out of his feet, then it hit a wonderful pass into the channel for Marcus Rashford, who smartly finished across the goalkeeper. Again, something he's massively improved under Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. It took just eight seconds from Lingard's interception for the ball crossing the line and giving United the win. Since Solskjaer took over, United have had more counter-attacks than any other team in the Premier League. The 4-4-2 diamond allows United to congest the centre of the pitch, whilst breaking with incredible speed, similar to Liverpool in last season's Champions League knockout stages. Expect this to be Solskjaer's go-to formation in the bigger games. But anyway guys, what do you think, what formation do you think Solskjaer will use going forward? And do you think he should be the manager next season? I've been Statman Dave, make sure of course to subscribe if you are new, turn that notification bell on and get into the comments, join the debate, I'll see you there. If you've enjoyed this content, why not check out other Tactics Explained videos or check out the Manchester United playlist.